Hi, I'm Christine and I'm reporting for Cheso Tube. And today we're speaking to one of Cheso's favourite teachers, Miss Sullivan. Miss Sullivan, thanks for speaking to us today yep. about Book Week 2013. No worries, it's my pleasure. Well, we're here to talk about Book Week. What book are you reading at the moment? I've just finished reading Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief, which was recommended to me by a number of students. And I'm about to start Fahrenheit 451, which some of my ex English extension students have finished reading. And do you have a favourite author or genre? My favourite genre is fantasy. I love any fantasy novel. As for favourite authors, I'm happy to read anything that anyone recommends, but I particularly enjoy Australian authors such as Melina Marquetta and John Marston. What would you say to the students who basically don't like reading? I think they just need to really broaden their horizons. There's lots of different types of books out there, and I think sometimes it just takes one book to change your whole opinion on why you should read. And even without books, people will read in the sports pages, people are reading online. So students are doing a lot of reading. I think they just don't realise it and appreciate it enough. Book Week has been running for 68 years. What's it all about? Book Week is all about recognising books, celebrating books and encouraging people to read and to also just talk about reading, find out what everyone else is into, what they enjoy and what they recommend. Why is it important that schools celebrate Book Week? In our busy lives we get so consumed with schoolwork and homework and sports and TV and I think it's a good reminder for everyone that sometimes the most simplest pleasure can be taken and given by books and I think that's really fantastic that schools recognise that and it's also to help recognise the Australian authors. There's so much talent in this country and I think for students as well they can see how they can, something they can aspire to and how they can be reading something that's been written by someone who's grown up in this country or even near them in a nearby suburb and some of our students are fantastic and their writing I'm sure will be celebrating in years to come. This year's book week theme is Read Across the Universe. What does this mean? The theme Reading Across the Universe can be interpreted in different ways. For instance, it doesn't matter who you are, where you are, whether you're on a different planet, everyone is able to find a book that they enjoy reading. I think too, for me, reading is all about taking you to a different world. So it might not necessarily be Mercury or Mars or Jupiter, but when we are engrossed in a book, you forget about the world around you and you're just immersed in that world that the author has constructed. So for me, reading across the universe can be a bit of everything. What's Chazo doing for Book Week this year? Well, on Friday, August 23rd, we're going to have the staff and Year 12 students dress up as their favourite book characters. So we're going to have lots of different uh, characters running around. I know we've got some whole staff room dedicated to one book and then some different individual characters. Uh, we also have things on Facebook. There's been competitions being run by Mr Crenidi and students are able to guess which teacher is reading their favourite book. Um, and for me, for all the students to get involved, it would be really great to see if they could just go up to teachers and talk to them about their favourite books and what books they recommend, and then just talk to their friends about books. I think that's the big key idea behind it. Thanks for joining us today to talk about Book Week. It's been my pleasure. Do you want to go to the library? Yeah, sure, Miss. <laughs>